a very good morning to you all my dear children i hope you all are fine children today we are going to do uh, the revision of model verbs that is of chapter 24 and i hope you all remember this topic isn't it we have done it uh, in the previous classes uh, so um, just a quick revision i am going to give you people okay children so children what are model verbs children what model model verbs show possibility intent ability or necessity they are a uh, type of auxiliary verbs or helper verbs and they are used with the main verb of the sentence okay and some common examples of model verbs are can should could must might these all are examples of model verbs so first of all we will take uh, uh, can and could usage of can and could so children you can see here we use can to make general statements about what is possible so example is given here it can be very cold here in winter that is it sometimes it is sometimes very cold here in winter it's it it, exp, it shows the general statement you can easily get lost in the this town that means people often get lost in this town and we use can't or cannot to say that something is impossible like that can't be true you cannot be serious we use can or cannot or can't to talk about some one's skill or general ability like we can speak several she can speak several languages he can swim like a fish they can't dance very well we also use can and can't to talk about the ability to some to do something at a specific time in present or future like i can see you help i can't breathe we use can to ask permissions like can i ask you a question please can we go home now we also use can to give permission like you can go home now you can borrow my pen if you like and also we can use can i to make offers like can i help you can i do that for you then coming up to the usage of could we use could and could not or couldn't to talk about the past she could speak several languages they couldn't dance very well we use could to say could have we use could have to say that someone had the ability or opportunity to do something but did not do that like for example she could have learned swahili but she didn't want to okay then uh, i could have danced danced all night but thing is that i didn't do okay we can use could have to make guesses about the past like it's 10 o'clock they could have arrived by now where are they they could have got lost we use could to make general statements about the past like it could be very cold there in winter you could easily get lost in that town okay children so uh, we use generally we use could uh, for the past okay then coming up to the usage of must must is the basic and most direct way of saying something which is compulsory it means that you don't have any choice but to do that action you have to do that action okay we can use only must in the present form to describe a general or permanent obligation or an obligation in the near future see here you can see the structure of uh, uh, must how we use for singular and plural i have uh, shown here singular i must work for plural we must work you must work you must work for singular and plural same i he or she must work they must work okay so here you can see some more examples are here when you drive you must wear a seat belt that means you have to do this they must hand in their projects before the 8th june i must remember the, to send a birthday card to my dad 
he must study harder if he wants to pass the exam so like this we have to use must children to show the obligations in the past and in the future the only form possible in the past of have to is had to so we have to use had to as past form of must okay so here are some examples the doctor told her she had to lose weight they had to queue up for 2 hours to get thoroughly th through security they almost missed their flight you had to do a lot of conference calls in your last job didn't you so these are the examples of where we have to use had to that means had to is used for the past form okay then children where we have to use need children need expresses necessity or something lacking that means it acts both as an ordinary verb and an auxiliary verb as an ordinary verb it is conjugated with do does or did and is followed by the infinitive with to like here you can see i need to do i need to do my laundry okay here i have a necessity to do my laundry okay then do you need anything he didn't need a teacher as an auxiliary verb it is mainly found in negative and interrogative forms like and we rarely use this this type okay like you didn't do it if you don't want to it's not necessary to do okay need i come that is it necessary i'm asking is is it necessary for me to come okay so the, here uh, like this we have to use need okay children then and, uh, last comes ought to uses of ought to so ought to is used where what is desired okay when we are talking about things which are desired or ideal like they ought to have more parks in the city center we ought to eat lot of fruits and vegetables every day then we use ought to have plus ed form of the verb okay about things that were desired or ideal in the past but it didn't happen okay that event or that thing didn't happen it can express regret like we ought to have locked the gate then the dog wouldn't have got out that means here we have desired that we should have locked the gate but we didn't do that okay so ought to is used to express the things which were desired or ideal in the past but that thing didn't happen okay children so children like this we have to use the modal verbs uh, practice more uh, do more and more questions related to modal verbs okay children thank you so much